Welcome back to the channel. It has been quite a while since I've picked up my camera and filmed for YouTube, but I do want to be better about that. And we just had a pretty hectic last three months. That is no excuse though. Um, but I am back. I'm going to try to film at least one video a week and get that up because I do want to put more effort into my YouTube channel. So here I am. Uh, it, like I said, it's been a very hectic last three months. I had my show and then um, we were spending time with family. We were kind of just getting back into routine, um, trying to like mentally go through like post-show. Uh, and then we went to Europe for two weeks for our honeymoon. So it has been pretty um, busy, but all amazing things. So I couldn't be more grateful for that. But anyways, I thought I would take you guys through a what I eat in a day. I'm tracking macros now and I'm trying to have a little bit um, more fun with the meals I'm making. So I'm gonna show you guys what those meals look like. So for breakfast, which is meal number one, I've been in kind of like a protein French toast kind of kick. Um, so I have this, it's a Sarah Lee 45 calorie bread. And I have about three slices of this, which two slices is 90 calories, uh, 18 grams of carbs, five grams of protein and one gram of fat. And for that serving, there's six grams of fiber in there. So this is pretty high in fiber as well. Um, but I'm going to have three slices of this and I take cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, and I also have this sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon, um, like coffee syrup. And I put an egg in here, some of this, and I dip each slice in there. So I know that, I don't know if that sounds weird, but that's, that's what I do. And I, I think it tastes great. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that and put it on the stove and I'll be back with the full meal. I just finished making breakfast. So I have those three slices of the Sara Lee low carb keto bread. Um, I took, I had three eggs for breakfast, but I took one of those eggs with that brown sugar, uh, cinnamon coffee syrup. I mix that up with cinnamon and pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie spice. And I dipped each one of the breads into that mixture. And then I went ahead and put it on the stove. I have five grams of Hun um, peanut butter that's drizzled on top of this and then I have 40 grams of mixed berries so that's what that's looking like I've been on like a French toast kind of waffle kind of kick so I've been having French toast almost every single day this past week it is super yummy and then I have two fried eggs which I seasoned with oregano garlic powder salt pepper and then I put Melinda's black truffle hot sauce on top. So that's breakfast. And then I'm gonna make a coffee after I have my breakfast. So I will show you guys what I put in that. Okay, now we are going to make my coffee. So I have a mason jar here with some caramel at the bottom. It's like a sugar-free caramel. Um, and I had a coconut Nespresso pod, but you're supposed to put it over ice. So what I did last night was um, I made it and then I put it in the fridge overnight. So that way when I woke up this morning, it would be cold still. So that is now pretty cold. I found like when you just put it directly over ice, the milk just kind of like, or not the milk, but the ice melts. So it's not that cold, but anyways, so I'm going to put three squares of ice. I'm going to 
pour my coffee in there. I'm gonna do this over the sink because I feel like this would make a mess. Okay. So I have my coffee in there. Then I use this Planet Oat, Oat Milk and I do 30 grams of this. And then I use this cold foam creamer and I use 10 grams of this. Okay. And this is the caramel I used. I have it in just this like little glass pump jar. And that's pretty much it. And then I just, I'll have to get my straw. Yeah, that's pretty much the coffee. And I'm gonna go ahead and drink this and I will see you guys for meal two. Okay, it's three hours later and we are back for meal number two. So for meal number two, I'm doing a type of like wrap situation. I have these um, tortilla factory carb cutting tortillas. One tortilla is 60 calories, three grams of fat, 18 grams of carbs, and four grams of protein. So I have one of those. I have a laughing cow wedge. Um, I like this. It's like a spread on my tortillas or wraps. And um, this is a spicy pepper jack one. So I have one wedge. And then I have hardwood smoked pulled chicken. It comes like in a box from Sam's Club. I don't have the box. I threw it away. So I can't show you guys. But um, I've kind of gotten like the ick with cooking my own chicken at home recently. And I didn't want my only protein source to be whey protein and beef or like eggs. Like I wanted another um, protein source. So I picked up that chicken and I love the taste of it. And I, I don't get the ick of making it because it's already cooked. So I went ahead and I put that on the tortilla. It looks atrocious right now, but I promise it tastes good. Well, at least to me it does. And I have a cabbage mix on there and some tomatoes. So that is meal number two. Um, I'm gonna have this and then I will be back for meal number three in three hours. So I will see you guys then. So for meal number three, we made at home poke bowls. So I have ahi tuna, some jasmine rice on the bottom, avocado, edamame, cucumber and then I took this sweet spicy Tabasco and a little bit of light mayo and made like a sauce so that's what we've got that's meal number three and uh this is my first time making at home poke bowl so I hope it tastes good but I'm gonna go enjoy this and I will see you guys for meal number four so I'm just going to pretend like I didn't forget to show you guys my last meal, <laughs> but I definitely did forget. So I, I already consumed it. I don't have a picture of what it looked like, but I'm going to just share what it was. I just got so distracted and I was watching the Great British Baking Show that I totally forgot I was even doing this video. So what I had for meal number four. Yeah. It was one of these pre-sliced uh, cinnamon raisin bagels from Walmart, and I put whipped cream cheese on that. I think it was it was 30 grams of whipped cream cheese, and then I did 15 grams of strawberry jam. Um, and then I had I bought this pack of like turkey breast from Sam's Club. Um, this is just like straight protein. So I find it super easy when, like for example, like a meal like this for a bagel, I didn't really want to have eggs. Um, so I had three slices of this turkey breast and that right there is 11 grams of protein. Um, so I had this, the bagel with cream cheese and jam. And that was it for meal number four. And my next meal is going to be super yummy. I have a Ninja Creamy in the freezer that I'm gonna be having later for meal number five. Uh, but it's 6.30 right now. 
I ate meal number four around 5 p.m. and I'll eat meal number five at eight, 7.30, eight-ish. Um, that's my last meal of the day. But yeah, so right now, as I'm like tracking my macros, I've been having five meals a day and I pre-plan it. So like last night before going to bed, I planned out exactly what I was gonna have today so that way I know I'm hitting my macros. My macros right now are 150 gram protein, 220 gram carb, and 65 gram fat. And that leaves me at about like 2100 I want to say, 2200. Uh, and this is like right about maintenance for me. Um, so we haven't like officially started the growing phase yet from the show just because we were trying to get up to this maintenance maintenance phase and then I was also in Europe for two weeks where I did not track at all. I worked out um, if I had time and we were walking around a lot and I really feel like that vacation helped me mentally like just reset and kind of dial back and like come out of that prep mindset just because in prep like you want everything to a T you're following protocol doing everything on plan so that that vacation really helped me wind down a bit and realize that there's more to just being in prep on prep in prep whatever um and just being present and yeah it was overall amazing vacation vacation traveling europe and exploring so very grateful for that i'm happy to be back in routine um that just helped me like when we got back i was like so ready to just get back on plan and like dial in so i think we're gonna start increasing calories and food here uh soon and officially start our growing phase now that i've been in maintenance for a while so that is the update with that um i kind of just want to grow and build a lot more overall muscle and decide when next we will go um and do another show not quite sure when but that's the plan as of right now and the updates with that so i will see you guys for meal number five i just took a shower so i feel very fresh and clean but i do look like a naked mole rat so please disregard it's meal number five now. It's a ninja creamy. I'm gonna let it thaw out for a bit so like this ice kind of goes away. Um, and the best way I found to do that is I take a bowl with hot water. I let this sit inside that bowl and it like kind of melts all around. But in here I have 225 milliliters of unsweetened almond milk, 225 milliliters of Fat free fair life. It's the light blue one, I think. I have 30 grams of raw vanilla oatmeal cookie. Is that the name of it? I, I think it is. And then I have eight grams of butterscotch sugar free jello. So I'm gonna let this thaw out for a bit. I'm gonna mix it. And then for my mix ins, one second. So for my mix-ins today, we're going one serving of uh, vanilla wafers. So these are like vanilla wafers, but Walmart brand. Um, so it's 30 grams and then I'm going to have fun with it. And we're doing Reese's Pieces too. I just picked these up yesterday. Um, I normally have been mixing in like just these crackers or I was doing ghost protein cereal, but I want to try some like chocolate candy in there. So we're going to try the Reese's Pieces. That's meal number five. So I will. I'm gonna go ahead and make that, and I'll show you guys when it's done. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I want to try to do this once a week and start uploading more frequently. So hold me to that. Um, but I. Appreciate you guys for being here and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!